20,537 calories in five days. Oddly enough, I started sweating from my kneecaps, which I didn't even know there were like pores, sweat pores in my kneecaps. I'm Bob Bryan. I'm a policy reporter here at Business Insider, and uh, for five days, I ate like Warren Buffett. So Warren Buffett is the second wealthiest man in the world. He is the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway and a legendary investor, possibly one of the most successful investors of all time. Warren Buffett uh, eats like a child. He's admittedly eats like a child. For breakfast, uh, Buffett goes to McDonald's. He either has, if the market is down, he'll have just two sausage patties. Uh, if the market's flat, sausage McMuffin with egg and cheese. If the market's up, bacon, egg and cheese biscuit. He owns Dairy Queen, so a lot of Dairy Queen. And dinner is, um, that was a country fried steak smothered in gravy with mashed potatoes. Chicken Parmesan was one of my meals. I consumed a two liter of cherry Coke uh, every day. Over the course of the five days, I had about 1,260 grams of sugar. Uh, that comes out to about 2.78 pounds of sugar. Also, one part of Buffett's uh, kind of uh, repertoire is to put extra salt on everything. I felt bloated every day. There would usually be like an intense sugar crash and caffeine crash from the cherry Coke. You know, my coworkers were saying I was irritable, I became especially lethargic. The last meal we went to Warren Buffett's favorite steakhouse in New York City, Smith and Walensky. I said, you know, just give me what, you know, the man himself got, which was honestly just a huge mistake. He usually gets the 32 ounce Colorado ribeye. So a two pound steak attached to the bone, something you would, you know, a caveman would beat someone else over the head with. It was absolutely massive. So, uh, you know, when I got home, I, I felt almost like food drunk. I was like bursting at the seams, so I, you know, honestly, I had the knee sweats again. I just took off my shirt and my pants and just laid down in the starfish motion on the ground in my living room, just staring up at the ceiling, contemplating how in the world an 87 year old man has made it A, this far in life and B, continues to make it this far in life, consuming the amount of calories and just absolute terrible junk food that he does. And finally decided that I just wasn't gonna eat anything but vegetables for the next 48 hours.